Especially when the V8 supercars were on the racetrack. So they'll grid up side by side for the rolling start, the final round of the weekend. It's non-points, but the points do count to decide the overall weekend winner. And this, this start is a lot harder than it looks. I mean, the, the, the two in front, Mark and Chaz, have got completely clear view. But when you're behind that car in front, you actually can't see past the rear wing. So you've almost got to go off the car in front, which means, you know, it's not as good a start as you could like because we're waiting the starters' orders now. Green flag, but we're not in the acceleration zone. They are now, and then it's up to the pole sitter to go. They went early in the back, and Andre Heimgarten, oh. drama spins, Nick Perkat turned around, and there's massive damage for Marcus Ambrose, too. Down into one goes Mark Winterbottom and around the outside, Mostert. Van Gisberg in the third, Courtney's being shuffled back, and spins Lowndes. Lowndes and Bright get into each other on the exit of one. I mean, Andre Heimgarten has moved up to about seventh spot there, so it looks like a massive jump start and massive, you know, the, the guy's rear of the field. We've got a safety car for all that damage, but uh, Marcus Ambrose stopped on the main straight, so we've got a safety car, but that came from the back of the pack. The boys were being a bit cheeky there, and by the time they got to the start-finishing line, they were much quicker than the cars in front, and that was bound to happen. Well, you said it, Jack. You said it as they were forming up. It is almost impossible to see what's going on in front of you when you're buried down the field, and the net result now is that Marcus Ambrose has got huge damage on the front of the DJR Team Penske FGX Falcon and Nick Perkat, who'd been having a brilliant weekend today and driven himself up inside the top ten. Let's have a look. So back in the pack, left of screen, right at the back is Ambrose there, and we see Andre Heimgartner fan out on the grass. You can see the speed, but the contact back in the pack is between Ambrose, I think one of the Mercs, and then Nick Perkat just got turned around and spun across the front of the track. Yeah, Will Davison was hard into the back there. Oh, wow. See, everyone checked up as well, and you had that concertina. It's like peak hour traffic on punt road everyone sort of backs up the brake lights go on and this is what happened at two you can see wink up down the inside made contact with courtney Heimgartner was miles up the road from where he started. <laughs> he started 19th and he got up to 5th, so I dare say that that won't be considered a legal manoeuvre. But, um, you know, it's all a product of not being able to pass on the racetrack. You know, you're trying to make the most of the rolling start. We normally see that variation with standing starts. And Jason Bright's made contact there. He was, you know, an innocent bystander there. Rough weekend for Craig Lamb.